Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it when you take time out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. To my subscribers, thank you, thank you. You really mean the world to me. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And I'm sorry, it's about 11.30 at night and I wasn't going to uh, film this. I was going to try to do it when I was a little bit more fresher looking, but... I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to look fresh again, except right after I mask. But anyway, I had ordered from Boodles Doodles Design, and this is just such a cute, cute little Etsy shop. Uh, she's based out of Texas, and the owner, Brenda, she is such a sweetheart. I actually watched them do a Facebook um, Live. I didn't catch it live, but I watched the uh, rerun of how they were making the uh, lavender sage soap. Oh my God, it looks amazing. And so, you know, right after I went online and I, I ordered some, even though I have a ton. But anyway, she um, has a limited edition uh, box that she did for December. Uh, it came out on like right around Black Friday. It was $47.95 for Black Friday. There was a special, so I got it for $35.96. Right now it's at 10% off. It says on her website on the Etsy on the Etsy page that she's got two in stock and it's like in maybe 15 um uh, shopping carts so I don't know if um, this there'll be any backups or maybe if um, maybe some people's payments can go through if it's there but right now it's for $43.59 and because it is so limited but it is still available I wanted to try to get this out to show you and I will link um, uh, Boodle Stoodle's design she's got a YouTube channel as well that she shows you how to make she's making um, her handmade soaps and some handcrafted items so so nice so refreshing to see such a nice lady and her daughter um, that do this out of their home with all natural ingredients and they take every precaution to make sure that you are getting clean soap which I know sounds kind of silly to say clean soap but yeah I mean they're wearing the gloves and the face mask and eye shields and everything is just so professional it's just really really nice the designs are really really super so anyway and this shipped wicked wicked fast and so inside my box, I've got these cute little squirrelies and like kind of like Christmassy theme. So if you wanted to put this in a gift basket for somebody else or just to maybe to just decorate a little bowl for yourself, you can use some of that to kind of make it nice and Christmassy. And then the inside of my box. So anyway, I have just had such good luck. I mean, I started getting, and I haven't put in a lot of orders, but she had the cutest uh, trick-or-treat soaps uh, around Thanksgiving. And that was when I um, ordered the first time. And oh my gosh, it was so amazing. The soaps were just so, so cute. And I got them for my grandchildren and sent them off. And then she had some really nice ones like falling leaves or something like that with some nice autumn scent. So I got one for me and then uh, one each for, for the girls. And uh, this is, I think it's, this one is a brand new soap that she's got on her site. They just came up with this. It's called Smitten Soap. And again, the name of her shop. And the soaps are all a really, really nice size. And on the back of it, and because they all smell amazing, Please do not eat the soap. This is soap, do not eat. And she's got like the ingredients that she has in there. So it's all natural ingredients. And the designs are just, I mean, it's, she's an artist. It's its just amazing. So I hope you get a chance to check out her, her Etsy page. Even if this is already gone, the special thing, you can always make up your own little gift basket. And the colors are, I mean, on top. She's got some gold glitter. It looks like nice frosting. And so it's like a kind of like a teal, like a teal green and a kind of like a hot pink or rose and uh, purple. Again, just a really, really nice size. Oh my God, this smells amazing. It smells like a perfume that I've had, I've had before. But it is this oh my gosh this smells so so nice i mean it will be just like wearing maybe a victoria's secrets perfume or something i should have gone on the website but this smells really really pretty i am going to love using that and next in here we've got a body body butter 
And again, she lists the ingredients. So we've got cocoa butter, lavender, and Roman chamomile essential oils. No, oh, they put this in here and it looks like frosting. So this is, is a strong, you can smell the lavender and it's going to just take some out. And this, this is nice. It is just like the uh, lavender essential oil. That does smell nice. And I do love lavender, like right before I go to bed, I've got some lavender soap in the, uh, in the bathroom. And so if I get up in the middle of the night, I love to wash my hands with the lavender soap and then go, go to sleep like this and just smell the lavender. So that'll be really handy. This is called tea tree and charcoal soap. And again, just all the ingredients. They're all going to be basically the same other than this is going to, of course, have the activated charcoal. But, um, yeah, other, other than just using the different essential oils to get the scents and uh, whatever dyes that they use. And they go into a lot more of the explanation when I was watching that Facebook Live. And then even on her YouTube channel, um, you know, they'll do little videos of how they make the soaps and... And it, it's just so refreshing to see them working together. And ooh, this is pretty. Let's see, if, just in case I knock anything off. Is it like the gold flex in here? So this is like smaller cubes or rectangles. And there's two of them in this packet. And this, I mean, you can smell the tea tree, obviously. But um, this is something that, um, other than maybe the gold flex, I think guys would like this one too. And of course, I do like the tea tree scent. It's just a kind of like a natural healing kind of scent. So I do like that. And that's two, it's a nice travel size to the uh, smaller ones. And this is collodial oatmeal and cocoa butter. And I'm not sure, but I think this might be one that's on the, uh, maybe more like unscented or very, very light scent. But I mean, everything on her Etsy shop, it's just, it's handmade, it's crafted so nice and prices are really awesome. Like a little bit of looks like fudge on the top and you can see the oats and looks like maybe some flex in there but to me I, I don't really smell anything so this is would be one if you are sensitive to different scents because you know some people are you know they get uh, migraines and headaches and you know scents just uh, affect people differently me I love scents Sometimes the stronger the better, but, or if you're, you're washing your hands, but maybe you've got like a really special perfume on and you don't want anything to mess with your special perfume, then the soap is perfect. Alrighty, so, and I've, I've got one of her lip balms. She had sent some to me in my last box. And these, oh my God, they are so, so moisturizing. So it's a nourishing lip balm. Got her. that upside down so you bought that hat to cough but this just um I've got one open on my desk at work and I've got another one in my purse and it just it's really nice and soothing this lip balm and that's probably because of the essential oils that are in it it just feels very healing and very moist and some you know and I don't have to you know and I'm one of the lucky ones that are, that are working and I don't have to wear my mask if somebody comes into my office or if I go in to bother somebody in their office or if I'm walking around out of my office like if I go to the break room or the restroom or I go back to the warehouse or the showroom um, or anything like that greet people at the doors so then I gotta put my mask on and just a few times that you put your mask on put your mask off the lips just it just seems to get very dry in here just really really quick and probably I have that heat bent over me so this is just I put this on all day long I love it Alrighty, so what else do we have 
Alrighty, so not sure what this is. Let me put this up here. Okay, so let's see what this is. Looks like a flower. It's got a, a slight scent, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm thinking this is probably just another decorative soap. Maybe it's just um, maybe it's the same as the Clodial Oatmeal. Just very, very light. And, oh, and she gave me one of these too. I haven't used it yet, but I really should. And this one is... If it focuses, it's nourishing nail oil. So that looks really cool. I wonder if I can open it. Well, I must have to turn it or something, but it's like a little brush right here. So that you could just kind of go like this. So I probably have to take the rest of the. Uh, cellophane off. Um, I'm not on the opening box challenge, but I'm cellophane challenged as well. So I will try that later because especially knowing now that it goes on with that brush, it's going to be awesome. And I think there's still more in here. Gosh. Alrighty. So it's another nourishing lip balm because you can never have too many. And we got some wax melts. I like your wax warmers, and this one's blueberry. And I did smell this before, and it's just a very, very sweet blueberry. Very, very sweet blueberry, just uh, nice and fresh. And this might be the last one, and this is the Christmas wreath wax melts. And I had got a couple of these in um, the last box that she had sent to me as a thank you. And as soon as I opened my mailbox, it, it smelled like Christmas because this is just so, so fragrant. Yeah, just like a fresh Christmas tree. And I think there's still more in here. I think this is going to be it. Okay, so anyway, she sent a, a little thank you card. And just leave a note on the Etsy and her Facebook page. Oh, and this is, oh, she is so nice. So that's Mitten Soap. That was just a special gift for me, so I'm going to love that. So that is so nice. Like I said, she is just so special. So this is, oh my gosh, this is apple pumpkin butter soap. Oh my God, I cannot wait to smell this one. This is gonna smell really, really nice. But they just came out with a new one too that I, I ordered too, I wanted to. I don't think anybody at work watches me because yeah, I don't advertise that I'm on, on YouTube. Oh my God, this is so cute. But I bought some of the, uh, the Christmas ones that I want to give to the girls at work. This is so cute. So we've got a pumpkin and an apple, and then again, the gold on top, and just the colors here, like the purple and the black and the orange. And this is nice. This is a really nice fall one. Of course, I'm right now I'm still using the falling leaves because they, the only drawback is they last a long time. And they're so pretty that you want to hurry up and, and use them. And yeah, they last a long, long time. This smells amazing. I am, well, I'm trying to use up my fall stuff, so I don't know, but I want to use the smitten. I don't know. They are just all oh, so pretty. Did I put the other one away already? And thank you so much, Brenda, for sending the smitten soap as well. Just, oh my gosh. Your company is just so, so great. And I just really appreciate that oh, I found you and that um, 
yeah, you've been so receptive because I, I didn't tell her I was doing a video or anything. So I don't know how they found me, but they did. You know, and I, I guess I just never think that you should really ask permission for people. But anyway, this is what my bars just all look like all together. Aren't they so, so pretty? Oh my gosh. It's like a bouquet. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Brenda and your daughter for the incredible work you do. This is such a great, great box. So again, sorry about that. I got a little TV tray with my computer and my webcam on, but um, yeah, not always the greatest idea. So anyway, just such a fun, fun box and a fun company. If you love getting like handmade soaps and they're just so pretty, they would make wonderful, wonderful stocking stuffers for like teenage girls in your life or this one that I'm going to be sending to the jelly beans. It's um, like the playroom. It's so it's like basic, the basic red, uh, blue, yellow colors. And it's got like a Lego on top and some dinosaurs on the side. So I'll be sending, and it smells like Fruit Loops. So I'll be sending that to uh, the jelly beans. I call them the uh, the two little grand, grand, my grandson, my granddaughter. And then I've got teenage boys too, but or grandsons. But yeah, so I mean, just especially when you can find a soap like that, that the kids love, because you want them to wash their hands a lot more now that, you know, they're going back to school and everything else that's going on. So if you can get them to wash their hands longer using a good soap and just, it's nice and sudsy, it foams, it's frothy, it's just moisturizing and it smells so nice. So using something like that for, for the little, little kids, getting them to wash their hands more, and uh, if you wanted to just get some different soaps and make your own little gift basket to give someone for, for Christmas or a little thank you to maybe a, a neighbor that's helped you out or, you know, if they help you com come over and shovel the, the lawn for you or shovel the lawn, shovel the driveway and mow your lawn for you because, you know, they, they get tired of rescuing you from getting stuck in the tree. Yeah, yeah, that's embarrassing. But, um, yeah, so it's just really, really awesome. Like once you go on the site, you're going to be on there for a while because she has some really, really beautiful designs. And um, if you are lucky enough to get one of those limited edition baskets, I hope you can get on and get that done. And uh, thank you to everyone for joining me. I really appreciate your time and just spending some time with me. I love it when you click on like and you leave me comments. It just means the world to me. So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.